but now uh, we're doing the final presentation when it comes to the remake machine, but it's also the most important one because it's the one we've built the entire system around and it's Eaton Systems. And here to talk about the versatility of Eaton Systems is Janne Johansson. Hello, everybody. First of all, thank you very much for having the opportunity to be a part of this uh, circular movement and microfactory um, production system that we have behind us. And I know that all of you are quite eager to see the presentation, so uh, uh, I will keep it quite short, but also let you know that uh, me and my colleagues, you can see this nice shirt. There are more people in this room with the same shirt and we are hanging around there. So in all breaks and when you want to talk with us more in detail, be please come by. Um, we have seen a lot of uh, interesting uh, things that might be, uh, that you will use in the future or perhaps even today. Uh, I was given like five minutes to, to tell you about who we are, what we do, and perhaps a little bit how we do it. Um, and uh, to start with that, I would, I would like to, to go back to the history. So I will give you a short history tour and then uh, finally tell you a little bit how it works, the Eaton system. It's also very nice to be the infrastructure of all these inventions that we see here today. But our systems has been along, around for many years. Um, also, for you people on uh, online in the cyberspace, uh, you can visit us our, at etonsystems.com and, and find our contact information there. So, uh, Eton, Eton Church, that's where we're coming from. Eton Church was invented in 1928. Uh, and the, the son of the founder was a family-owned business, and the son of, of uh, the founder, he was a very smart technician, uh, self-made, but uh, Inged Avison, he was really trying to figure out how can we make the production even more efficient? How can we have better control of our production? So he was starting to think, and one of the measurements was the needle efficiency. So how effective are we in the production is actually when we are adding value to the product is the needle efficiency. And you can translate that today with other types of operations where you actually add value to the product. And therefore, he invented already in the 1950s, 70 years ago, a hanging system, uh, not like this one, of course, but a very manual one to begin with. And he was starting to measure the needle efficiency and try to get the efficiency up and also to have control over the production and see exactly what are we producing, when are we producing, what are the cycle times and things like that. So in 1950s, Eaton Shirt was improving their quality and their efficiency uh, with an Eaton system, very early version of the Eaton system. In 1967, and that's 56 years ago, one year more than I am, uh, Eaton System became an own company, uh, still owned by the family, but separately as a separate business. And from that point, we have installed more than 5,000 systems. And uh, what we are seeing here today is a lot of invention from smart people of what we can do in the future. Uh, we are facing these things every day. Uh, so we are doing installations in, in automotive industry. We're communicating with robots today. And we are doing a, a lot of different, uh, different things in that area. Uh, so uh, from 1967, we have been doing this uh, for many different industries, uh, furniture, uh, garments, where we're coming from. Uh, and different types of industries. A um, little bit how it works. It's not that complicated, to be honest. When I say system, it's actually two things. It's the hardware you can see behind us, and it's also the, uh, the software that was talk spoken about before. Uh, and uh, here's a product carrier. So our system, uh, when it's in the loading position, and then we have different types of operations along the way. Uh, we have a product carrier, and this one has a number, 1007 is this one. And the system doesn't know what to do with it. But there's an RFID tag in here, and we have communication with uh, some input from an ERP system with the order number or something like that, or, or a barcode scanner. And when we have the information, then we know what to do. And then we will go through that, um, that operation list, uh, do the operations, and then out. When we do this, we have 100% control of the production times, the efficiency or down to operator level, or if it's a robot. Also information that you perhaps can use in traceability today, when you need to know how much energy have we consumed during this assembly process. We know exactly how much time it's spent on each operation. 
And it's also a dynamic software. So let's say we are loading this one and it should go to operation three, five, seven, and then out. But at five, we realize that this is something we have to do. This is a quality issue or we are doing a, we are weighing it and we see that it's not in the, in the parameters. We can make a new turn and go to repair station or, or a second quality and things like that. So it's very flexible in that sense. Yeah, that was pretty much what I would like to, to say at this moment. But uh, if you have further questions, uh, please come by our booth. And uh, I think that you all now are very eager to also see this demonstration, right? Correct? So I'll hand over to Ellen again. Thank you, Janne. Yeah.